Uh, hi guys, welcome to another tutorial of scale. In this one, I will be showing you how to analyze a combined uh, test. This means uh, that means a test which uh, is a combination of uh, an adaptive uh, procedure plus uh, rating questions. So first, we would go to analyze and select our test. I will be a little bit fast with this test because. Uh, most of the options uh, are the same ones in as in the uh, normal adaptive tests. So I would recommend that before watching this test, uh, this tutorial, you watch the, the tutorial about analyzing uh, an adaptive test. Uh, so yeah, we'll select our test, which is a yes no rating uh, we, that we made in another tutorial also, we create it and we perform it. Um, so we press confirm. Uh, we have uh, two data sets for uh, this test. I will be only selecting one at the beginning. And as we see here, we have different options. Uh, we have the different visualize options also explained in the other tutorial. Uh, we will select now uh, steps. We will select scenario one and we will select value. Uh, value, as I explained, also is the the sample which sample was played in uh, in every run of the test. Like we started with uh, with sample uh, number number fourteen, and we went uh, down until uh, sample one. Then we made uh, in sample one also correct decisions. Uh, we were in the limit, so the the test in this case uh, break. We can take also, uh, we can see scenario three, scenario two, etc. Um, when we activate then question, we have uh, here the values the, that we gave in every in every question, <coughs> in question one, sorry. Uh, in the run one, uh, then in the run two, in the run three. This means the place where we put the slider. If I take out uh, value, uh, as we see, we had uh, in this question uh, we had we selected four values, so it goes from three to zero. And uh, yeah, in this in the runs, the first ones we selected uh, three. Here we can see also the the labels of this question. So in um, yeah in round one two three we were uh, positive about our answer and then not so sure. So yeah, this is the evolution. Then we have also question two. When you select two questions at the same time because they have different values and labels, then it turned all 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 the data to um, just to numerical. Uh, so let me show you only question two. And we had uh, it was about the quality. We had also three options. It was very, very bad, acceptable, and amazing. So these were our, uh, these were my um, judgments in every run. So we can watch all together, and it would look like this. <coughs> uh, Yeah. Mm, in this case, because we are visualizing visualizing steps, we can only see one scenario at a time. Uh, you can check also what in the art tutorial what uh, what makes different these different options. Um, I will we will change now to averages. So we take uh, first value. We check. We select single average. And uh, we see that in scenario one, the average uh, ended, uh, in, ended being uh, in this point. We take then scenario two and scenario three, we make it like this. So we can see these were the, um, the values uh, obtained in the, um, in the three scenarios for the value. Then we can see also combine it with the ones obtained in the questions. So we make like this. We have also the legend and here it's like uh, 
question one, it's a cross, also a cross symbol also smaller, and question two, even smaller. And uh, yeah, they look like this. We have different options uh, like um, yeah, the single average and the general averages. Um, to make general averages, we need to we can make it now, but it will be it will be all look the same because it makes an average of all the subjects that are selected. So here we have the data for two different subjects. Now we select um, we get rid of the questions for this moment. We select general averages, so it is the combination of the two values. Let me uh, show you with combined. We see different values, and they are just averaged. And the same uh, would happen with the questions. So, yeah, it would look like this. Uh, you can also check, um, choose the option of the confidence interval. As I always say, it makes no sense because I made the test uh, really randomly uh, just to have a set of data. Um, also, I have only two values, then two different sets, then it doesn't, wouldn't make any way uh, big sense to make a confidence interval. But uh, just to let you know that you have also this option. Um, let me get rid of this. Yeah, once you have all the data here, uh, maybe what is uh, more important than is that you can save it. So you, we can save it uh, in a graphic like this, MATLAB fig. And then we have the different, uh, we can also save the data, which is more interesting at the end because you will be probably working with your data. You can save it in an Excel file, in a math file, or in a TXT file. Uh, TXT file normally will be the last option. Uh, I will just show you now with this uh, TXT file option because it's very easy to see which data we have. So, We would just press here, write a name for our uh, document. So we just write tutorial, we accept and we go to, we save it in the desktop. So now when opening, we see here that we have the different data. We had scenario one, scenario two and scenario three selected. Then we had uh, the, um, the value from uh, from subject one, then uh, the the values in question one from subject one, and uh, the same with subject two. And we had also selected uh, uh, we have select selected I think um, yeah question two one and two combined. So as you see here in the legend. We have here the average obtained, the general average obtained in question one and the general average obtained in uh, in question two. And uh, yeah, these are the numbers. This would be, for example, 1.9 and this would be uh, 0, 0,85. Uh, it's not very nice uh, in a text file, as I already said, but if you import it to MATLAB or uh, to a math file or to an Excel table, you don't have these problems. Uh, thank you. Yeah, that's all. Uh, thank you for uh, watching the tutorial and um, you can watch other tutorials of scale if uh, you want to, to have more information about it. So thank you and uh, bye bye.